Part H, Organization of this book. Critical race theory and introduction addresses in simple, straightforward language, the foregoing and additional ideas characteristic of critical race jurisprudence. Chapter two presents four large themes in that body of thought, entrance, convergence, or material determinism, revisionist interpretations of history, the critique of liberalism, and structural determinism. Chapter three takes up storytelling, counter storytelling, and the narrative turn in general. Chapter four addresses the twin themes of intersectionality and anti-essentialism. It also considers constructural nationalism and its opposite. The idea that minorities should attempt to assimilate and blend into mainstream society. Do immigrants weaken American solidarity and identity? Does American racial thought contain an implicit black white binary binary an unstated dichotomy in which society comes divided into two groups, whites and blacks? so that non-black minority groups such as Filipinos or Puerto Ricans enter the equation only insofar as they are able to depict themselves and their problems by analogy to blacks. Chapter five explores this issue as well as whiteness studies. Social scientists have long put minority groups under the lens, examining their culture, intelligence, motivation, family arrangements, music, and much more. Recently, Scholars on both sides of color line have switched perspective and are examining whites as a group. One topic that critical white studies addresses is whether such a thing as white privilege exists, and if so, what it consists of. Chapter five also looks at the scholarship of other racial groups such as the Lat Crits, critical Asian writers, feminists, and the LGBT theorists. As the reader might imagine, critical race theory has come in for its share of criticism. Chapter six examines the main challenges that writers from both the left and the right have leveled at this approach to civil rights. It also includes responses to those objections. Chapter seven describes critical race theory's current situation. It also ponders a few of the issues on the movement's agenda, including hate speech, campus, climate, criminal justice, racial profiling, merit, affirmative action, poverty, immigration, national security, and globalization. A concluding chapter hazards some predictions on the country's racial future and critical race theory's role in it. The reader will find in each chapter questions for discussion and a short list of suggested readings. We include hypotheticals and classroom exercises where we think we will promote understanding. We also excerpt passages from Dushi judicial decisions illustrating the influence of critical race theory. At the end, we include an extensive glossary of terms, including many that are not found in this book. Mm -hmm.